Alright, Dad, we can see you. Yeah. I'm Sierra and I'm Maggie and, and we're from, from the gymnastics too. Welcome to TC Tuesday. Today we are going to be showing you guys how to do a kip. So let's get started. Before attempting a kip you should already have a solid pullover. The next step is to choose the type of glide that you want to use for your kip. So you can use a straddle glide or a pike glide. This is basically just personal preference, but if you're taller, I would recommend using a straddle glide because it's going to be less likely that you'll tap. No matter which glide you use, you're going to want to make sure you tap your ankles together at the end and push your hips out. If you find that doing a glide is difficult for you or that you keep tapping, you can also practice some core exercises so that it's easier to do at like V-ups or at straddle holds. You can also do leg lifts to strengthen your core as well. This next row is going to be really helpful to get your kip and get used to the motion. All you're going to need is a broom handle or something that works kind of like a bar. And then just lay flat on your back with the bar thing above your head and then bring your ankles to the bar and then kind of sit up with your arms straight. Once your ankles touch the bar, you're going to want to shoot your feet up as high as you can so your hips can go straight to the bar because if you don't, your hips are not going to make it to the bar. The last part is focusing on getting on top of the bar and the biggest thing for this is keeping your arms straight and your wrist rotation. So basically just like a pullover, you need to rotate your wrists when you start coming back on top of the bar. We did everything right. It's also important that you keep your arms straight because it's going to be a lot easier to actually get on top. If your arms aren't straight or you scissor up when you do a kip, it's going to make the kip a lot harder to do and you're probably going to lose a lot of points. So just make sure that you put all these tips together to get a good solid kip. If you like this video and it helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel by pressing the button down below. Make sure you come back to our channel to see us on Flipping Friday, and we'll see you at our next video. Bye! Bye.